Hi guys, welcome to, welcome to another Minecraft Mind tutorial today I'm going to teach you how to add a tin fence. So I've already got the stuff for the mod blocks class sorted out. You will notice I've also got the fence gate. Um, well, yeah, that's because I've had to test that these work. Because these are things I haven't done. So the tin fence is probably the easiest block you can ever do. That's like from minecraft so extend block fence and control shift o to make us add a constructor and then here i'm just going to do material dot and then i'm going to have iron because that's what tin is and here you need to put a map color so that's material dot iron dot get material map color and we're pretty much going to do what we normally do for most blocks so unlocalized name we said we are then going to set the unlocalized name to the unlocalized name we're then going to set the registry name to the new reg <laughs> one more thing it's the use neighbor brightness again we need this to be true um so it saves and now we're going to just get rid of the tin fence so register it like a normal block you can download the models and the textures in the description as well and now the block state i'm actually going to write here now this is a editing soft this is a text editor known as atom the reason why i'm using this is because it actually has really nice syntax highlighting so we're going to make the block state now and this has detected that we are actually using JSON, which is nice. And just going to get the multi part and open it up. We're going to go down and uh, we're then going to. What multi part block state is, is that you can have multiple models and combine them into one model. So we're going to first open these um, uh, curly brackets and we're going to put apply saying that we're going to apply a model. So then we have to open up the apply. We have to put model and then colon and then we can say the way to get to that model. So boe colon tin underscore fence underscore post like so. We're then going to put a comma, and we could do like if statements in JSON with this. So what we're going to do is when it's like uses the when syntax, then open it up, open up your curly braces, and it's when north is true, and then what we're going to do is a comma here, and um gonna go down so when north is true we're then going to apply a model so the model just do like this again so model colon buoy colon tin underscore fence and now this is side and all it is we're gonna just put some rotation so the y is 90 and we've got to put the UV lock on. We're going to put that to true. Like so. And we're going to need to put a comma on this. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this when statement. Because we need this for all the different orientations. So north. And then. You can save this. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So if you go inside of our test world, uh, don't don't matter about the other one. Uh, we're just going to say yes to this because I have the uh, blocks that I was testing with, and we should see that I messed up something in the block state. Yes, that has fixed the block state error. Um, you will have to change the texture in your block state. Uh, in your models file but as you can see we can place the fence quite nicely and 
could even fence yourself in, which is nice. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.